everyone welcome to part 2 of this creating a temperature converter app here as of now we have created a basic structure for our application we have a label and enter field to enter some value you can select the you can select the options menu value and we have a button and we have two labels to display the result so now what we first do here is we have to store the option value each time this value is changed so we will do this here for doing that we can use some command command is nothing but similar like calling a function in other languages here we call a function using this command variable and we will set this command here command parameter and we will set this command parameter here and we will give this function name not function name you can call it as here yeah, as stored temp and we will define this function here this would be def definition I'll copy this and paste it here and this would be store temp store the temperature by default when we implement this options menu and when we use a command it automatically assigns a parameter to this function that is we'll name it as selected temperature as cell temp so we'll store this selected temperature in some variable there are some some variable like temp var equal to select temp so and we will also print the value so just confirming we are seeing this change in the option menu so i will now again run this application and we will also open this now to see our result so if i select part celsius it shows celsius here in the and if i select fahrenheit you can see fahrenheit is displayed below here and kelvin so we can see that we are getting this options change value so actually we store this value in order to do some calculations when this result button is pressed so we also need this temp value in other function too so we cannot access this temp value in other, another function when it is like this so now i'll introduce a new concept called global variables what this global variables does is we can access these variables throughout our application so first i'll declare this temp value here and we'll set it to celsius initially because the default value is celsius and we'll change this value when this option value is changed so this temp value is now declared global and for using this global va global variables we have to just uh, tell them just that these are global variables so we can access this temp value anyway throughout our application so now i'll get rid of this step as we have confirmed that we are getting the option change value so now we are getting this now we will go to the button and we will add some command to that so that when the button is pressed we will get something here so that when the button is pressed we will do our calculations here and we will call this as call result so now if you check the application when we press this convert button it pass some parameters to this function so for passing the parameters to this function we will use a we will something called partials which is from func tools so now i will import this from func tools import import partial so i have imported this partial so now just before this command i will call this function uses so will this call result will be equal to 
partial of the actual function name which we are, which we are going to call and all and it also takes some um, and and the parameters which you want to pass along with them these parameters are this label and label one and label two uh, first so we have to we can't access these labels here because the, we are accessing them before they are initialized so we'll just move this be below this uh, labels initialization so it will be, no, we also need this value enter here so now we will define this function here this would be def call result and it takes two parameters that would be result label one result label two and the input number input n so so now first we'll get the temperature value input temperature value we can get this by using input dot get we'll get the value entered so this will get the value now we'll check if this uh, global variable value is is celsius or fahrenheit or kelvin so we'll check this if it is celsius so if temperature equal to celsius we'll do some operations here and similarly for other two if temp uh, if this value is fahrenheit or kelvin so now by doing a quick google search on how to convert a celsius to fahrenheit you will load up with some few pages and if you go to the first page here we'll see how to convert a given celsius value into fahrenheit what the formula is multiply the given celsius input with 9 by 5 and then add 32 to it so this gives us the fahrenheit value so similarly for so similarly you can find different conversions here so i'll you just can you just can take a look here and I'll, so now i use those formulas and just convert them so for given given celsius value its fahrenheit value will be just multiplying 9 by 5 to it and adding 32 and this would be its kelvin value by adding 273.15 to the given input value so i'm just converting this to float so we can also have decimal values and after this we'll just need to use set these results to the labels which have used those, those are rl1.config and i'll set its and I will set it to percentage F for the floating values and I will set this as Fahrenheit and percentage F so similarly for Kelvin so this is how we can, I can convert a Celsius value to Fahrenheit and Kelvin and set the results to these variables here I will do the same for Fahrenheit and Kelvin and then finally we will return this one return the function so now if we run the application and see our application basically looks like this so we can enter some text like 23 and then convert this this should be config instead of config So now I'll go some press 23 and this will be converted into Fahrenheit and this is similar for Fahrenheit and Kelvin. So this is uh, the basic functionality of our application is working well. So in the next video, in the last step, I will show you how to do the finishing touches like adding some background color, foreground color, text color, and also how to make this window fixed. So now we can resize and also set the title of the title of our application and all those. So stating for our last step of the video. Thank you for watching.